Happy What in the Wednesday, and welcome to another edition of What in the World News. Ever forgotten your phone somewhere? Then you surely know the feeling of panic that overcomes you when you don't know if it'll either be stolen or your personal pictures are going to end up in my other web series. Well, Eddie Diaz wasn't having that. Realizing he left his phone at the West Palm Beach station, the Florida man pulled the emergency stop cord, ran, and jumped from the train's front passenger door. Sounds like a scene from Taken, but like he forgot his daughter or something. As he jumped, he lost his footing, slipped, and landed hard on the southbound platform, severely injuring his head. At the scene, Diaz was unable to speak, however, could respond by moving his mouth. But as of this moment, he's in critical condition. Who else wants to know what was on that phone, huh? Oh, was this guy like a super spy or something? And of course, the incident delayed all the passengers for about two hours. So much for efficient transportation, huh? This is why America's falling behind people right here. There's now not only a reason to feel bad for newborns in China, but teenagers also. A few Chinese middle and high schools have made tireless efforts to discourage romance between students, threatening those who break the rules with severe punishment. Apparently, you don't only have to be born female in China to be a disgrace anymore. Some rules dictate that two students of the opposite sex may not come any closer than a foot and a half's distance from each other. Other rules stipulate that they may not walk in pairs and must avoid close interaction. Of course, that last part has absolutely no definition, so it could mean anything. At a population of 1.35 billion people, most people are just able to poke fun or laugh off the ban ultimately believing that it will be ineffective. Yeah, this is China we're talking about, people. If you don't listen up, they're gonna start stitching up and chopping off, if you catch my drift. London's finest sprung into action recently to rescue a man from the clutches of his evil kitchen appliance. The fire brigade was called to the home of an elderly man who had managed to get his penis stuck in his toaster. Nothing strange about that whatsoever. Is that not how you're supposed to use toasters? <laughs> At this time, it's still unknown as to why the man felt the need to rape his defenseless kitchen appliance. But this kind of thing isn't actually that uncommon. As according to reports in the last three years, London's finest had to be called to assist in the following. 18 incidents involving children with their heads stuck in potties or toilet seats. Five incidents involving people's hands being stuck in shredders. 79 incidents involving people being trapped in handcuffs. Nine instances of men with rings stuck on their penises. Four incidents where people had their hands stuck in blenders. And 17 incidents involving children with their fingers stuck in toys, including one with a Lego stuck on his finger. Legos aren't only dangerous to feet, you know. And it's actually under speculation by the police themselves that the large number of handcuff trappings is actually attributed to the release of 50 Shades of Grey. It's a book, people. Would you calm down a bit? Honestly, I think this will be the only time I ever say this, but I really wish some people couldn't read. And now it's time for our topic of discussion. Do you believe that teenage romance is a pointless thing that should be discouraged? Or do you believe it's all a part of the grand experience of growing up? Comment below and explain your reasoning. And that's it for this episode of What in the World News. Ever see a news story that makes you WTF? Become a What in the World News correspondent by sending any tips to me, either through my Facebook fan page or my Twitter, which are both linked in the description below. And I deeply appreciate if you would thumbs up and favorite this video. And what I would love more than anything in the world would be if you would subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you next What in the Wednesday.